OBD 11 2018 TIG 1. I want to show everybody how easy it is to code with the credits. So I'm already connected to the car. Um, so I'm at the home screen, I guess you could say, where you can scan the car for anything. But uh, let's look at the apps because that's why I want to show you how easy it is to use. Boom, apps. So it's going to show you a couple options that you have at the, each of the corner of the apps it shows you how many credits it is per that coding um, down here in the bottom corner I have 56 credits total the credits are actually pretty easy to get if you go back to your home page really could just went to profile boom so to show your wallet everything here how many cars you got loaded how many credits you have you can actually get free credits. It'll show you here. I've purchased 10. I've gotten 56 free. I've spent 10 so far. Um, you get a couple each day for free. Let's see if I'm connecting my Wi-Fi out here. Uh, so like today, I still have a free credit. Boom. Get free credit. I think it's five a day that you get for free. My Wi-Fi signal is a little weak out here. It may not work. There we go. Let's watch a quick ad inside the app. You can watch the whole video or skip ad. Boom. Bonus credit added. Boom. I now have 57 credits. Easy as that. Go back home. Go to the apps. Let's see. Let's do something easy. Just kind of scrolling, showing you a little bit of the different apps here. Let's do something like seatbelt warning. Boom, you go on the seatbelt warning. Um, basically, it's disabling the chime that when you're driving. Disable seatbelt warning, EU, continue chime, US six times. So, to show you at the top, 10 credits for this particular app. Again, I have 57. This is how easy it is to code with OBD 11. So, we want to. See at the top it shows your options. Off, EU, USA. Right now we're at USA. Tap it. We want to turn it off. Hit the green check mark. It's going to say hold to write value. So you hold down the check to actually write the code. Boom. Success. That's how quick and easy it is to run an app on OBD11 and code it. Simple as that. Cool. Hit me with a comment if you have any questions. Um, next video I'm going to do 